Hey guys, what's happening? It's Hot Toddy here. Um, well, what an interesting turn of events on Raw. Um, I do believe it's a part of the storyline after reading story after story today, talking to people, different people from around this wonderful globe, and yeah, I think it might be a part of the storyline. I mean, it, uh, they are, WWE is a publicly traded company, um, so there would be some ramifications from the SEC. Um, for uh, doing something like this live because it affects the stocks. So I don't really believe that, you know, this is a part of the storyline. Um, if you can remember, it was a few years ago, or last year maybe, I don't know a few years ago, but last year with the whole Bret Hart thing, was it last year? I can't remember. Anyway, if you remember when he did the Bret Hart thing, he was stumbling over his words, and uh, he just wasn't the Vince that we thought. So I think they may be grooming this character. Um, to take a different direction. I think he's going to get back to like the Vince of the 80s where everybody liked him. You know, he was this nice guy, you know, uh, you know, on camera. Um, you know, everybody loves Vince now. It's already, the, the turn's already happened. So look for that. It's possible that, you know, since how the uh, general manager didn't chime in last night, you know, da 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 you know, whatever the <laughs> choices they make. And, you know, uh, so Vince could come back be the general manager, this is a possibility. You know, this could be one angle that they could be using. Uh, and Triple H, you know, he kind of, I don't know, he has that aura about him to where, you know, he's going to change things. You know, he's one of the boys, you know. And uh, I read uh, Sean Walton's Xbox uh, tweets. Uh, I found them interesting. I like, you know, how he, he claims that it's real, that this is all real. Um, I like that. I like the simple fact that they're playing on this like that. It's coming from all angles. So just keep it up, guys. You're doing a really good job. Um, but do I believe that Vince McMahon personally is not running day-to-day -day operations? No. I do not. And how funny last night did they take a shot at Hogan. Cena took the shot at Hogan. That was classic, brother. Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> I liked it. Um, that's giving TNA a little bit of, of notoriety. They're, they're, you know, TNA must be making a move for WWE to acknowledge them. So, something's definitely there. All, everybody keeps saying TNA sucks, or Impact Wrestling sucks. But let me tell you guys something, and I've been a critic of them, and I've been a fan of them, and if they could get this whole Sting thing under control, this whole new move with Sting, and, and turn the character from so corny to a little bit darker, they could have something with this Sting turn. And uh, if they could go live, if TNA Wrestling could go live, maybe once a month, even if they could do one live show after they have a pay-per-view, they'd have a real good shot at, at building. They're going to have to do something. I mean, but uh, not to get off topic, I know this was a video about Vince, but... Uh, I'll go back to Vince. You know, they they uh, they did it right. He's going right off in the sunset. Um, what a weird year we've had. We've lost uh, Edge. We've lost uh, CM Punk on the show. I and mean, then all the people that have left the show, you know, that didn't get credit for leaving, that we had to reel them in with the Chavo Guerrero. I think that 2012 will be the turning point in pro wrestling. I think we're finally going to come full circle. We're going to see companies grow that haven't grown before. We're going to see some companies not go anywhere and some companies fall in 2012. That's my prediction. As always, uh, you can go up to that search engine. You can type in funboy 69 You can find me on Justin TV. You can friend Todd Starr um, on Facebook because it's, you know, Right there is an awesome place. There's a lot of good groups that's going on there. Uh, we can discuss all kinds of stuff there. You know, on Twitter, you can find me at the Real Todd Star. Real is spelled R L Z. But the best way to find me, if you don't want to see me live on Justin TV, just go down below and sub. Sub to this channel because this is the main outlet for me getting to you guys, okay? I mean, I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate everybody who takes the opportunity and the time to watch these videos that I make. Um, 
You could be doing anything else, but you choose to take your time to sit down and watch these videos. And I personally appreciate that. And I thank each and every one of you. This show is growing. It can only get better, and I can only do more things to help provide you the true information, the facts that you want to hear. I will provide you anything. I will provide links sometimes, but not always. Um, most stories you can find just by typing them in the Google search engine. Um, I try to interact with everybody on YouTube. I try to comment on everything. Um, sometimes I get three or four hundred uh, emails a day, so it's kind of hard to do. But I do appreciate everybody, and if I haven't got back to you, I will just give me time, okay? Once again, I'm Hot Toddy, and I am the most dangerous man on YouTube. You never know what my next video is going to be about or what I might say. I just fucking snap! But anyways, just remember, Adrian Aronis loves you. Jake Roberts will hit you with DDT. Bam! And I'm not Toddy, and I'm out. Peace. Now, once again, if you don't go down below and subscribe, I'll wait for you by your mailbox, and I'll hit you with some sweet chain music.